check it out, guys. My zero dollars could be 10970 in three years. That's amazing. I never knew money could do that. You know, you learn something new every day. Okay, so where we left off was I, I had opened my emergency fund and I'm going to fund it with $2,000. Um, I was just going to go log into Ally and set up a transfer that way. But I remembered that there was this app that I wanted to try out. It's a transfer app when you set up rules and that kind of thing. So I think we're going to look at that and set that up today. I've never used that before. So it's going to be interesting. We're going to do it live. We'll do it live! Fuck it! You know, your bank is going to have ways to automatically transfer in or out money to it, like Ally has that right here. Um, you can set up a recurring transfer. I could do that. That's what I was planning on doing for this anyway. But uh, I want to try out this Astra thing. This Astra thing is something that moves money automatically. It's sort of similar to what we just built over here, like a centralized dashboard. If we can have Astra be a centralized dashboard for how we move the money around from one place to another, that would be pretty cool. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to set up Astra and move the uh, money, the initial funding of the emergency account into the emergency account. That sounded weird to say. <clears throat> the other thing I changed my mind on is that we're going to start with $2,000. And instead of going up to $5,000 right away, we're going to go $1,000 a month until $2,000. After I get my emergency fund to $2,000, I'm going to focus on paying down the debt before funding it up to $5,000, okay? Because I was looking at my balance sheet and I realized that I do have some like some money that I can deploy into these debts and, and pay them down faster a little bit. And there's actually something that I want to show you, give you a sneak preview to it. I actually set it up for my situation, but this is a pretty cool spreadsheet. It looks a lot nicer than the one that, that I built, right? It's a debt snowball spreadsheet put together by lifeinmyfinances.com. So you can go there and check it out and download it on your own. And I set it up with the debts that I had. I even put the Chase Freedom one in there that I already paid off, right? So it's very simple to use. You just change the numbers in the these, um, what is it, brown or red? red boxes and it calculates the time that it's going to take you to pay it off. So here I have my three debts, right? And here I have the payment schedule. It's so amazing. And once I pay off this thing, then it adds the payment onto there. So I'm paying more onto that debt, right? And so on and so forth. This thing, it, it first initially uh, estimated that I would, I would be debt free in 30 months. Okay. And um, I, I think uh, I, I was too bullish in my calculation. I don't know what happened. Oh, it's because I'm using six. I put $300 there. I think when we did this, I used an additional 600 Whatever. But I just wanted to show you guys this. The one-time startup was essentially the balance that I had on my Chase Freedom card to get that paid off right away. And we're going to start with the Amex card. So actually, I guess now we can pay 350 into the Amex card or 375 even because we're not paying this balance anymore. You're supposed to take the minimum payment and put it down into the um, payment of the next card to get to build momentum. It it changes the debt-free date to two months earlier. So this is a new debt-free date. Nice. So we're going to we're gonna focus on bringing this up some more. We're going to get it up some more. Okay. So that's that. If you guys want to use this sheet, it's available on lifeinmyfinances.com. I highly recommend it. It's really cool. And it's, it's awesome. Let's go take a look at uh, Astra right now. And I'm going to go and uh, install it. And I'm, uh, we're going to switch over to the phone and record from there. So see you in a second. Okay, so here we have Astra. And it's only an app. There's no desktop or web interface. So that's why I'm doing this on the phone. Um, Astra is an app that automates your finances. As you can see here, you can do one-time transfers, recurring transfers, sweep transfers, roundup transfers. So there's a lot of different rules that you can set up in order to move money from one account to another. So if it works, as I think it's going to work, it's going to be a really powerful addition to the cash flow machine. We can create rule-based routines to make moving your cash easier. So like a routine, right? I, I like what it says here. Starting on September 16th, every month on the 16th, transfer all funds over a certain amount from one account to another. That's pretty cool. I can see that coming in handy with the staging account. 
any funds over uh, over what I need this month and next month and the month after that will go somewhere else. Send money free of charge as often as you need. So I wonder what I wonder how they make money then. I wonder how they make money. It looks like you can move money from an external account to Astro. So I'm guessing that they have some accounts or they will hold some money for you and maybe act as a bank. I don't know. Okay, achieve your savings goals automatically. We're going to see if this is going to work for the emergency fund, but for the emergency fund, what I want to do is set up a rule where the emergency fund target balance is $2,000. And if it drops below that amount, I want Astra to re-up the balance to $2,000, um, you know, $100 or $200 at a time. Our users love Astra. Check out the ratings below. Okay. So let's check out some of the ratings. Uh, Calvin Lee says, app only works on first try. When you close and reopen the app, it always frees. It always frees. Only way to make it work again is reboot the phone. Please fix this bug. Other than that, it's a great app. Android version 10, Galaxy, Samsung Note 10 Plus. Loved this app and it was super excited to use it. However, it worked once. Now it just keeps asking me to verify my identity. My identity was already verified. God damn it. Now... It just keeps loading. It never verifies me. <laughs> Scam likely. As soon as you log in, your bank credentials, uh, that's it. Nothing happens after app freezes. Scam, scam, scam. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do they really want you to check out the ratings? Because based on these things, I would not want to kind of install it and give it my bank uh, details. But whatever. We're doing it for the Vine. I mean, the YouTube Okay, so here we go. Free transfers, dynamic rule-based actions. It works universally. So they use a direct import, or they use a, a banking thing. I don't know what it's called. Direct import provider called Plaid, which uh, basically, I guess it allows you to do things within the account. I think I already have an account I signed up um, a while ago, I think. So let's just see if that works. Okay, maybe not. Let's get started. A few moments later. All right, guys, so I had an issue with my text. I don't know if it's my phone or with my provider, but I had to basically send out a message in order for all the incoming texts to come onto my phone. So that's how it is. That's what it is. So let's connect the bank account. All right, we're using Plaid and we're looking for Ally Bank. There it is. Guys, don't look at my passwords. Okay. Uh, sub accounts help you organize your money for specific purposes. So they're basically also trying to be a budget. Um, all right. That means you can have one big savings account and have a bunch of different categories within that one savings account. Okay, so I got my emergency fund in there from Ally. I got to add another account in here. Got to add the saving, uh, the staging account. So let me do that now. Okay, so now we've connected the staging account. So I want to do is uh, create a sub savings goal, savings goal. Do I want to do that? Emergency fund, 2000. And I want to store this goal in my emergency fund. Uh, what? Uh, create a notification routine, create a transfer routine. One-time transfer, recurring transfer, roundup transfer, percentage-based transfer. Oh, let's read about it. Weekly transfer of roundups and euros, dollar, and transactions for a given account. Uh, I don't want that. Repeating transfer of funds over a specific balance on a given schedule. All funds over $1,200 in my checking account to my savings account every month on the 15th. That was what I want for staging account, but not for... Emergency fund setup. 
Pending transfer from account to account on a given schedule. Transfer $100 from my checking account to my savings account every two weeks on Friday. Nope. Uh, Percentage-based transfer. Transfer percentage of incoming transactions over a threshold. Don't want that either. 52-week savings challenge. No. So maybe I do have to create a savings goal and put that in my emergency fund. Sounds kind of redundant, though. Create a transfer routine. So I don't think I can use transfer routines for uh, setting up the emergency fund. Because it's not going to be a recurring transfer like forever. So I guess I'm just setting up a one-time transfer. So on July 7th, transfer $2,000. Why don't we just do $2,000 right away? From checking account to emergency fund. Let's name this routine my one time, my one time (laughs) emergency fund funding (laughs) initial. All right, so this is not a routine. This is just a one-time transfer. It says create routine when it's not a routine. Uh, There can't be more than $1,000. Okay, so we're going to have to do what we originally set out to do. Transfer $1,000. That's crazy. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. All right, so routine successfully created. Okay, so there's a routine, emergency fund initial, one time, $1,000 on July 7th. Oh, I have to verify my identity. Good thing I clicked in on there. All right, so let me just fill this out. You kind of got to you kind of got to click on all the buttons to uh get to, you know, get the information that you need because if I didn't look at that, I never would have known that that's what I should have would have had to do, you know. Hope you're enjoying enjoying the blurry video. All right, so I think that worked. This app is kind of janky, honestly. So let's look at this again. This routine is pending authorization. Save routine. All right, so let's create another routine, another quick transfer, and let's add another $1,000 into the emergency fund. Oh, okay, so it was initiated, nice. Transfer limit is $1,000. So I guess you can't transfer more than $1,000. You can only move money up to $1,000 at a time. That could be kind of annoying. Oh, uh, whoops. I kind of meant to schedule that transfer in one month, but that works as well. That works too. So, okay, I think that's it. I think that's all I got to do for that part. Cool. So there's two routines running. I don't really like this, like, emergency fund, and then it says emergency fund there. You know what I mean? I guess what I could do is change the emergency fund, the name of this thing, an ally, to just general savings account or something. And that could be my emergency fund there. Yeah, that could work, but whatever. For now, that's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to do it. That's how it's going to work. So I'll see you guys back on the uh, big screen. Okay, welcome back. Going to grow a little bit. So that's what we did. We just set up Astra to, you know, manage the relationship between this account and that account. Well, not really manage the relationship, but I put their logo there so that I know that if I want to move money from here or between there or there, then I can use Astra to do that. Um, all right. So we got the $2,000 initial in there or should be in there in a couple of days. And... Um, then after we become debt free, we're going to put $5,000 in there. And I didn't really talk about it in the last video on how to choose the amount uh, that you want in your emergency fund. It's really subjective. Uh, people say start with $1,000 at minimum. Uh, but when you build it up, they say have anywhere from three to six months expenses. That's like the the majority of people will say that. Other people will say go as high as one year to two years. And now, because of coronavirus, people are saying, oh, you should have a bigger emergency fund. Like you should have at least one or two years because you don't know how bad it's going to get. So I don't know. It's all up to you. I feel comfortable with $5,000 in there. I feel comfortable with $2,000 in there right now. But I do want to have $5,000 in there. The reason that I picked $5,000 uh, was because when we were defining emergency here, 
the my individual unshared amount from my health share is five thousand dollars. So the worst case scenario, that's the max that I'm going to have to pay out. Oops, oh, you can't see. That's the max that I'm going to have to pay out for like a health incident or something like that, right? Like all these other ones are going to be covered by five thousand dollars. And you know, if we took a look at the, um, uh, if we take a look at my income statement, my expenses. That's at least that's one month's worth of expenses plus a little bit more. And if I really got into a bind in emergency, the necessary and important part of my expenses are nineteen hundred. So if it's a really emer a true emergency, right? And then I would have to skimp, skimp down. I could survive for two two or three months um, on that amount. So that's how I came up with that amount of. Five thousand dollars. Now, for you, it might be something different. You don't have to follow what I'm doing. Um, it's just kind of like you know, people ask me this all the time, but it's whatever you feel comfortable with having as a stash of money. Like, okay, I can sleep at night. Um, somebody put it that way: is whatever allows you to sleep at night when your head hits the pillow and not worry about a bunch of stuff. So that's how you come up with the amount. That's it, guys. Uh, another twenty-minute video, I think. <laughs> All right, hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. I'm going to start saying that now.